Hello, 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 babies. Thank you for staying up with me. Um, Y'all know my readings are a little bit later now in the day, but I'm coming to you nonetheless. And today's reading is going to be about what assumptions do people make about you after the first date? So after someone dates you, like what assumptions do they make about you? That's what we're going to look at. Let's see, pile number one. What assumptions do people make about you after a first date with you? Well, let's talk about the crystal that we got first. So the crystal that you have is this is one of my favorite crystals because I, I found this, I can't but I can't remember where I got this, but I feel like I found this outside. And it looks very like hard and like not so cute and stuff on the outside, but on the inside it's like this really pretty like crystal like you know, this is like really pretty inside. And the reason why that's significant is I feel like uh you might pro you probably have my powder ones probably have like a resting bitch face or like you just look like you just like you just look like you wouldn't be very nice like you know what i'm saying like you just look like you you i feel like you intimidate people <laughs> i'm trying to say it the, the nicest way i can because i don't because i don't necessarily feel like people think that you're not good looking or people think that you're ugly or anything like that but i think people are definitely like they don't, you definitely don't look friendly and you definitely don't look some look like somebody's inviting but i don't feel like um that's how you are or it could be like you're just very guarded at first so because you're very guarded at first like it kind of shows on your face right and people some people may think it as like oh this person is going to be a bitch or this person is going to be an asshole or this person is going to be mean but no it's just like you just kind of um kind of ready to defend yourself because maybe you come from a place where people aren't the, the kindest people aren't the nicest
So because of that, you tend to keep your guard up. And I feel like it definitely shows all over your face. But your first card is initiative. And your next card is levy. So I feel like when people, when people, the people's first impression of you after a first date, I feel like a lot of you guys probably ask a lot of questions. I'm seeing someone at a table kind of like giving an interview. And I get that, get, I get that um, being on a date is like having an interview, but I feel like people who have dated you in the past kind of feel like, uh, like you might be like, um, I know I say you like, I'm like, I'm trying not to say that, but I mean, that's, that's the best way I can, um, describe it but it's like but it's like i know just did it again you might ask questions like do you have kids you're the type of person that's asking like do you have kids how many kids do you have do you want more kids like why did you have those kids where do you work at okay you work there now do you do you see yourself um do you see yourself getting another job do you see yourself um excelling like uh, i'm looking i'm i'm seeing it the wrong way also i feel rushed so they feel like you might be rushing the date but i feel like you guys are uh, you guys might have like some sort of like uh social anxiety or something like that so it can it can seem like you're trying to rush the date and it can seem like you're trying to hurry up and get it over with but it's like you are but not because you don't like the person but because like you're just like nervous and you kind of want to get out of that situation but people take it as oh this person act like they don't have time they act like they're so important and then when i'm sitting down they're asking me all these questions and shit like i'm on a job interview and I feel like this person is just like a drill sergeant. And I feel like you come off that way, but I feel like you really a sweetheart. I feel like a lot of you guys are just tired of playing the games and stuff like that. And you want to know right then and there whether or not something or somebody is a waste of your time. So you're going to ask what you need to know is to really try to get the, to know the person because you don't really care to go on a second date or not. Right. However, with Levy, it's like some of them can really see right through that shit. Like a lot of, uh, you know, especially if you're a woman, did you know that a lot of men can read people very well? Like not all of them, but a lot of them can read people really well. And the reason for that is because men are hunters and stuff like that. They're hunters. Um, so they need to know how to read the situation, assess the situation and see if it's dangerous or not. So because they innately have that in their DNA, they tend to be very good people readers. So a lot of men will know you more than you know yourself. So, so a lot of men can smell the hurt, <laughs> literally smell the hurt and see the hurt within you that you don't even think, well, what, that you're ignoring or like you're, you only subconsciously know about and you're not consciously um, healing or consciously know about if that makes sense. Because a lot of us want to be like, oh, I'm over my ex, over my ex. But then you're going on dates and doing things like this. You're not even having fun. You're just so worried about the last time you, you dated and you wasted your time. So now you're just acting like a drill sergeant and you want to ask. You want to ask the, whoever you're on a date with all these questions because you're scared that if you, you know, just relax and get to know them and stuff like that, you're going to find out that there's somebody who doesn't really like you or somebody that you really don't like and you're going to be wasting your time again. So it's kind of like that. So you're so instead of like actually focus on having fun on a date and get to know somebody, you're more focused on like what could happen in prevention. So basically trying to be defensive. You get what I'm saying? But a lot of them can see right through that and they can see that you were a sweetheart and you were probably taking advantage. You were probably taking advantage of before. And because you were taking advantage of before, like you just, um, because you're taking advantage of before, you just, you kind of, tr you're trying to build this heart and shell, but the, but the men who are very observant and very awakened, they can see that. Not to say they like it and not to say they feel sorry for it. Not to say they resonate with it and not to say they want to deal with it. But they see it and they understand why it happened. And they know that's not your natural nature. They can see the softness within you. If you're a man, I feel like the same way. You might go out of your way to try to act tough. Try to act like you don't have emotions. Try to act like you don't have feelings. But the women who are white, the women, the women who are white, the women who pay attention can see that is just not the case you get what i'm saying that you are a man that wants to be loved you are a man that wants to love but maybe last time you did that before things didn't just things just didn't work out for you but they see the hurt in you so your last card out is humility so what are what are people's impressions of you after a first date i feel like 
people feel like you need to take a chill pill. <laughs> like you need to take a chill pill. A lot of a lot of people would say that you are an overthinker. They would say that they don't really know if you if they made the cut or not. Um, so a lot of people may not call you back because they think that you don't like them. So they feel like because you took so because you took so much charge of the date and because you were like so clear on what you wanted, like a drill sergeant, and because you kind of they feel like you already came there with what you wanted in mind and because you already came there with what you had with what you wanted in mind is no reason for them to try to you know tie you down because if you like what you like you're going to come back you get what i'm saying it's kind of like they it's it's kind of like you 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 it's kind of like when you when you have a okay let's say you had enough money for your dream car right and when you go in there, you know what you know what your dream car is. So you know what you want to look like. You know what color you want. You know what customizations you want. You want you know you want all that. So the salesperson, if you go to a salesperson, like I'm here to drive my dream car. This is the type of car that I want. This is the type of car that I um. This type of car I want. This is what color I want. This is what customizations I have. I want and stuff like that. The salesman's not going to try to. It's the, the salesman's not going to try to fucking sell you something else, or the salesman's not going to try to sell it to you because you already had in mind what you came there to get. You get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like that. So if you do get ghosted a lot, it's not because you're necessary. Well, you are annoying, and I'm not going to lie to you, part number one. But it's it's. <coughs> It's more so people assuming that you already know what you want. So if you know that if you if they are what you want, then you will reach they'll um then you will reach out to them. So they kind of um think that. Okay, so let's see what your advice is. So basically, people think you look you you overthink dates a little bit. You overthinking the whole dating process a little bit. You overthinking love a little bit. They don't really know how to react to it. They feel like you just overthink so, and you kind of need to chill out and have fun. Let's see what your advice is. You have indigo children. And you have victory. So, more. Okay, so Spirit wants you to know, like, all the things that you went through in your life as far as getting hurt and, you know, feeling like you picked the wrong person and feeling like you constantly picked the wrong, per wrong people, feeling like, um, Feel like you only attract a certain type all that nonsense they want you to know all these things were lessons and all these things were things that you had to go through in order to get what you want so nothing happened for no reason you didn't make any mistakes and you couldn't have made any better choices that is very somebody need to hear that. you couldn't have made any better choices babe because you had to go through this anyway this is what spirit was putting you through so you can learn so it's, it's nothing that you could have done nothing that you could have done babe it's nothing that you could have done it's not your fault then you have clarity you have victory they want you to know that you will have the relationship that you want so don't worry about it it is coming what when the time is right and you have clear audience so spirit wants you to know to trust your intuition the thoughts that you have in your head are not just your thoughts the voices that you hear in your head are not just voices that is your higher self speaking to them so understand you will make the right choice so even if you trusted that little voice in your head before and it led to a relationship that was abusive or led to a relationship that wasn't so kind to you just know that you had to go to that relationship because something about that relationship turned you into the person that you are today and you needed to do that to get to where you want to either get to where you want to be in life or get to where you needed to be in your love life or something like that but it was it happened for a reason and, it, and um, you learn something from it you have to learn a lesson from it okay but with that being said that is your reading pile number one i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in enter my free reading giveaway all you have to use all you have to do is leave a rare heart in the comment section below if you're interested in joining my patreon that link is in the description box below. It is $3.99 for you to see all my Freaky Fridays and all my explicit readings and anything else that I do not post on YouTube. That link is in the description box below. But with that being said, babies, I'm going to move on to pile number two. Okay, pile number two, commitment. So what do people feel after your first date? So you have commitment so i'm gonna say this 
after your first date, people can tell your ass ain't never been nowhere. So your ass might have been in a long term relationship or a long a long term relationship, a long distance relationship. A, you just could you couldn't you you guys could have just been in like a long like dragged out ass relationship for like so long, like you became a relationship person. This is these are also my people who might have um married their high school sweethearts or been in a relationship with their high school sweethearts straight out of high school or through college and stuff like that this could be it this could be like you know like i don't know it's like you've been you've been either not dating for a long while some of you guys i'm hearing it was something about travel you were traveling a lot or school i'm also seeing somebody went to some type of medical school this could be some type of physician a doctor or something like that and because you were so focused on school you didn't really have time to date but it's something along those lines by power number two is you were not dating for a long time or you were dating somebody for a long time so you don't really know how to be single so you just made it recently started going on dates or something like that or if you or if you were to go on a date because it's a couple people here like you got um you guys may have not started dating yet but this is what's going to happen when you do go out on dates or this is how people want to feel when you do start going on dates but it's more so it's like people can tell that you're you're not as experienced so you might be a little bit nervous you might be a little bit quirky or whatever but like visibly like you might visibly be nervous like visibly i'm seeing like somebody making like um like little uh like little jokes and stuff like that but the jokes is like i don't know how to explain it like the jokes is like um baby the jokes is like it's like you know how you make dad jokes like real awkward like sound like real awkward sounding jokes something like that so you guys might make real like like i don't know you guys just be fucking nervous that's how i'm gonna say you guys be fucking nervous as hell and people can tell that you guys are, uh, are nervous Yeah, people feel like after a date, people feel like they that you wish you would have opened up more. They feel like you're like super quiet or like like they feel like you're hiding something. Some of them may feel like you're hiding something because you're super quiet. So they might think, oh, this person probably didn't tell me everything about themselves or they're probably hiding things about themselves or something like that. Because I feel like you guys are really, really fucking dusty and rusty in the dating era. Like you guys are rusty as hell. <laughs> Like you guys are rusty as hell when in a dating in a dating area. Like you guys literally, I feel like you got some of you guys have been dated for like almost ten years or something like that. But like you just real rusty. So it's like you don't really know what to say, what to do. Like things are different. You want fucking dating apps and shit. They didn't even have dating apps back in the day when you were dating. Then it's all these damn rules. Some of you guys might be getting wrapped up in like all the rules. Like, oh, you have to act like you don't care. Or you can only text them three times a day. And if you text them more than that, they're going to think you're thirsty. They're going to, like, you might really be wrapped up in all that noise and, and nonsense and stuff like that. So it's like you're finding it hard to open up because they feel like people feel like you're, 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 you're not even, they feel like you're thinking one thing, but you're seeing another thing. So they feel like you're trying to date by like the rules or you're trying to date by like which, like you're trying to date how you think you should be dating. Does that make sense? Like you're trying to date like as if it was a manual. You're trying to date as if you took a class to date, and this is like this is how you date, and you're taking notes from the class that you took, and that is how you're moving forward with your dating life. <laughs> so you're basically trying to trying to uh, date as if it was like taught to you or something like that. And you're not letting loose, and you're not um, opening up and stuff like that. So people can tell that you're not really, but they don't know. I, that's how you're trying to date, and I know that because I'm looking at your energy. But they it comes off as you're not being genuine. So a lot of people might think that you're a liar, and I'm sorry, it's a little bit negative, but I gotta keep it stinky with you so you can change. But. Cause some of you guys are like, oh, I'm a really liar. Like, I know you're not a liar, but it's coming off as it's coming off as you being a liar because it's seeming like, why is this person acting so weird? And you're acting weird because you feel weird. You're not acting weird because you are a weirdo. If that makes sense, is what? But the way they're seeing it, the way people are seeing it, is coming off as this person is a liar. You get what I'm saying? It's like it's coming off. It's coming off like you're a liar. It's coming off like you're like you can't be trusted. It's coming off that way because um, it's coming off that way because it's like you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's coming off that way because it's like why? Like hmm, I'm trying to figure out how to say this. It's just coming off that way because it's like you're, they can tell like which whatever came out your mouth is not what you really wanted to say. It's not what you really wanted to say. It's like you're just seeing it to say it, but it's not really what you wanted to say. 
So overall, how do people feel after going on a date with you? You got the benefit of the doubt. They feel like a lot of people feel like you old. Like can, when I get um this card, it's like this card is giving me strong like Capricorn energy. You might be a Capricorn or Taurus or a Virgo. Like Earth signs have a reputation of being very serious and stuff like that. So people feel like you might be a little bit too serious about dating. Like it's like they can tell that you're like consciously thinking about your words and everything that you do is calculated and stuff like that. So they think that you're taking it a little bit too seriously. And they hope that you get it together. Like, they hope that you, like, some people will go on a date with you again. And some people won't. But either or, they hope that you, like, get it together. Like, they hope that it, they feel like, I don't want to say fixer-upper. But people see you as, like, a fixer-upper. But not in a fixer-upper as a way of, like, oh, is something truly wrong with this person, like, mentally. But fixer-upper in a way of, like, oh, I got to show, I got to show this person some, this person there. Show this person this and show this person that. Like, they feel like you you need to be shown how to date and shown how to have fun and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? So, so pe some people are okay with it, but they just feel like you, you, your, um, your uh, actual conversation, the way that you go about dating could use a little bit of work. I feel like that's okay, though. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't got, it's not no real negativity here, but they just feel like you could, they could definitely tell that you've been out the loop. They could definitely tell that you're a homebody, or they could definitely tell that that you just you know you haven't been dating like that um so what is your advice your advice is to be gentle with yourself i feel like dating is new for a lot of you guys so just kind of be gentle with yourself and be patient with yourself you have overcoming difficulty so no it's not always going to be this difficulty difficult to find someone it's not always going it's not going to be this difficult to connect with somebody but it's going to come over time so just don't don't beat yourself up like don't go home and be like oh that date really sucks because i because of this because of that it's like okay if a date is up then you go on the next one and if that day suck, then you go on the next one. If that day suck, then you go on the next one. If that day suck, then you go on the next one. Like you just gotta keep on moving, and you'll get better and better over time. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you about my life because it helps y'all with y'all. I used to be really, really shy, insecure, and um, okay. I used to be really, really shy, insecure, and um. And just unsure about myself. You know what I'm saying? And I couldn't even look people in the eye or anything. And I wasn't confident. But once I came into myself, once I started spending time with myself, once I started forcing myself to have conversations with people I don't know, it's like the comfortability just kind of came with it. The confidence came with it. You know what I'm saying? So the more dates I've been on and the more people I interact with, now I can step into a room and, and find somebody to interact with and hold a conversation. Before, I didn't know how to do that because I was so introverted and stuff like that. I'm still introverted, but I know how to be extroverted when I need to. So so that's what spirit is saying. It's like it comes over time. It comes over time. So do not feel like, oh, well, I'm supposed to just jump in. I'm just, I just, you know, I'm just thrown out in the streets and I'm supposed to know how to be in the streets. No, you gotta learn how to be in the streets, just like a street cat. You gotta, you gotta get in some, you gotta, gotta get in some rumbles a little quick, explore a little bit, and then you'll, you know, you'll get the hang of it. Spirit says, spread your wings. So continue to date, continue to date all types of different people and stuff like that. Don't just, um. Don't that's the point message for somebody. Don't just um stay with one person or don't just like feel like oh I can only talk to this type of person because that's what I'm comfortable with. They want you to try to go beyond your comfortability, okay? Next is creative writing. If you want something specific, because I feel like this is my power who are relationship people, and you know you're really not interested in staying out in the streets, like you just in the streets because you gotta be right now, but you're interested in getting locked and getting um uh, getting locked back down or locking somebody else down. So spirit is said to manifest exactly what you want. So write it down on a piece of paper. You could do like me, I do my manifestations, I write it down. I bury them or you can you know however you do your manifestations they're saying to write your manifestations down and manifest exactly what you want so that way it comes to you okay but with that being said that is your reading power number two i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in a personal reading that information description box below if you're interested into my reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below and with that being said i will see you guys in the next reading don't forget to join my patreon don't forget to join my patreon which is $3.99 a month for all my explicit readings and freaky fridays if you're interested in a personal reading that, that reading that information is description box below i do two hour um email questions if you are interested in that and i also do video readings like this as well so if you're interested in that, that link is in the description box below and i'll see you guys in the next reading bye